Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another Christmas tutorial, this time for Christmas flower ring. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step, so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it. And if you're new here consider subscribing with the bell, also please like, share and comment. In this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. Also, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now, without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads. I'm also using four 8 0 beads. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 or 12, whatever you have, the smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back, I just took these four HO beads in golden color that I mentioned in the list of the materials and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick here my needle in my mat and what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make just one more knot. Then I'm going through the following 8 0 bead and I'm taking three red beads. I'm going here through the next one. Three more. Three. Then my friends, what I want to do next is go through the first red bead that I have here on my way. I take five red beads you see five of them and as I'm exiting from the first one I skip the central or the second one and I go through the following and I'm taking just one golden bead and I go in the next red one Then I take five reds, I skip the next one and I go through the following. Then again one golden, go in the first red, take five skip one and go through the following one golden go in the next red take five skip the central one and go through the following and I take just one golden again and go in the following red. And in my next step guys, I'm going through these two red beads. I take three golden beads, skip here the central one and go through the following. Then take two golden beads, go in this golden. 
again two golden beads skip one two red beads and go through the third one which is next to the central one that is sticking out the most and i take three goldens skip the central one two goldens go in the next golden and i will continue these guys until the end here go through the third thread counting from the center three red skip one go through the following Okay guys, now this is what I have and in my next step I'm going here through the first golden. I take five goldens and I skip the central golden and go through the third one. And here take three golden, skip the central one and go through the following. then one golden go like this then through the center and in the next one then three green beads and as i'm exiting from this golden here I go back in circle through those beads. Okay. Then I go in this direction. Here I need one golden. Go in this golden. Again three golden beads skip the central one and go through the following one golden go through all of those beads exiting here in the center then through the one which is after the center then go back like this and in this direction until I reach this hole here and I take a golden bead again and go through the first golden three goldens go like this and I will continue until the end Okay, my friends and I'm almost ready with the central part of my ring but now I need to do an additional step that is not obligatory but I just like it better this way 
okay and what is this step i want to reach the green part here go through the first green one and add three green beads and skip the central one Okay, then I will continue doing this the same way. I'll show you one more time. Okay, three, skip the center and go like this. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this two more times and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I want to go now. In this direction. And I want to reach one of those HO beads here. Okay. I'm exiting out of this HO. And from here on, guys, I'm going to start my ring band. And how I start it, I take a red, a golden, and a red. And I go back through this eight row in circle. You see, here I have a loop between those three beads and this eight row here in the middle. And I pull. Okay. Then I will go through those three newly added beads. Okay, through the three of them. Then I'm going to take red, golden and red. And I'm going one more time through those three beads here. And go back like this. And I take red, golden, and red. Then I take the same thing, red, golden, red. And I go back like this. And through the newly added beads. Okay, guys, and now I have three rows red, golden, red, and I want to have 24 rows of red, golden, red. In this way, I will have a ring band long enough to wrap it around my finger, and I'll show you how I finish my work. Okay, guys, and here I am where I have 23 rows done and now I'm going to add the 24th row just like I did before it's really easy okay then what I need to do next is connect this part to the opposite ato here okay and I go through this opposite ato.
and then I go back through these three red, golden, red and I pull and then I go through this eight hole and backwards through these three beads and again one more time here and after that guys I want to find the place and make a knot and cut this thread because I no longer need it I go like this and I pull and I go through the following seed bead and I cut this tail thread okay guys and now my Christmas flower ring is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often please like share and comment in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching